Today I'm going to show you how to do the perfect ab wheel rollout. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you one of my very favorite ab exercises. This is the one ab exercise that will leave my abs feeling sore for a few days after I do them. I feel ab rollouts are one of the most effective exercises for your abs, but you do need to have an ab roller. So these have been around for years. They are amazing. They are a very simple piece of at-home equipment that you really should invest in. Um, they are fantastic, but you want to make sure that you're using them correctly with perfect technique and form to get the most out of the move. So before we use the ab roller, I'm just going to show you a few things uh, to focus on, on the technique before we start using an ab roller. First thing is that we're just going to pop the roller aside and we're going to go into four point kneeling here. So from four point kneeling, you're just going to have your hands underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips. What we're going to do is a simple cat to cow exercise just so you feel this movement of tucking the tailbone under and scooping the abs in and up, rounding through the spine, reaching that middle back up to ceiling and dropping your chin to your chest. So as you do this, you feel those upper abs really engaging, those abs pulling in and up. And then you can just release back to neutral. So tucking the tailbone under, scooping the belly in and up, rounding through the spine, and releasing. So let's do that one more time. And then I'll bring it back to center. Now what we're going to do is come into to a three-quarter plank on your forearms here. So what we're going to do is just take that C curve through the plank. So we're holding our flat plank and we're going to scoop the belly in and up and round through the spine. And then just dropping our hips forward to flatten back through the spine. So rounding through the spine here, scooping the belly in and up and releasing. So it's not so much a crunch, but we are flexing through the spine. Now I'm showing you these exercises as a little prep for your ab roller because a lot of times when you get to the ab roller, people just roll the roller forward with a very straight back and straight spine. But we want to get away from that habit. So if we do these just to warm up through the spine, finding that C curve before we start, it will make it really simple for us to find it when we do the actual exercise. Now. Let's pop the ab roller into play now. So the first position that we're going to do is start in that four point kneeling position, but rather than our hands on the mat, you now are holding onto your handles. Now what you want to do is keep the wrist as straight as possible. Watch that you don't break at your wrists. That's putting a lot of unnecessary pressure into the wrists and we can just keep them straight. Now from here, I'm in a pretty flat back position. So I'm in neutral. What I want to do is round through the spine, tucking that tailbone under a little bit so we release any tension through the hip flex. So we take out that flexion in the hips. So now our abs are already engaged in a C curve. I'm not doing anything yet. I'm just going to roll the roller forward a little bit so it's in front of my body and in front of the shoulders to start. This is my starting position. This is my ending position. Now notice that my hips are pretty much over my knees and they are not pushing back towards my heels. If you push the hips back, then you're going to start pulling with your hips and the abs aren't doing the work. So if you bring it back into neutral, round through the spine, drop your chin down, and then roll the roller a little bit out in front of you, making sure the hips haven't pushed back. And now from here, all you're going to do is keep those arms straight as you roll the roller forward. And when you can't go any further, exhale, pull it back in to here. Now, it's going to be small to start. It doesn't have to be this big movement that you see people doing in the gym. Half of them are doing it wrong, so don't worry about them. So what you're going to do, again, you keep the, the spine rounded, find that C curve, arms stay straight, and then you roll forward, exhale, and as you do this, as you pull back in, you really feel that scoop of the abs and through the spine, and again, rolling out. Exhale, roll yourself back in. Inhale, roll out. Exhale. Pull it back in. Now, I'm giving you a breath because once you get all the way out there and you're holding, right? You're holding it out here. I'm going to go a little less so I can talk and do this. You know, 
If, you, if you've already inhaled, then you can use that exhale to contract the abdominals to bring you back in. If you've exhaled out, if you've gone inhaling back in, you don't have anywhere to pull back in. The exhale is going to help you scoop those abs up to bring yourself back in. One more time. Setting it up. Wrists are straight. Rollers just a bit in front of your shoulders. We round with the spine. There's no flexion in the hips. And we're going. Inhaling out. That's up. Bringing it back in. Here's a few more demonstrations without me talking so I can do them really nicely for you. <laughs> right, so now, once you've mastered it going straight forward and back, you can also take it on an angle. See, our abs aren't just working one plane, they work in all different directions. So you could take the roller out to the side, and in, maybe center, and in, off to the other side, and back in, just to get into those obliques a little bit more. So main things, what not to do. We don't want to get all the way out here where you can't even pull yourself back in, and then we bend the elbows and use our hips to pull ourselves back. That's the biggest no. Keep those arms straight and don't go further than you can control it. You need to control the wheel. Don't let it control you. So the other thing is just those hips, right? So like I said, once you get out here, say those arms are straight, but if you pull back from your hips, you've let go of the whole abdominal contraction. So we want to stay engaged. Don't worry about the back laying flat. If you keep a flat back, and you go out, you start using hips and lats to bring yourself back in. So I hope that you can find uh, some of these technique pointers really helpful in your ab rollouts. I do find that an ab rollout, an ab wheel is an incredible piece of equipment that you can get such an effective uh, ab workout from. So I do suggest that if you don't have one, get one. You're probably watching this video because you have one and you want to get the best out of it. So um, take this on board. Let me know how you get on in the comments box below. And uh, if you are new to my channel, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss my weekly workouts. They come out every single Monday. And make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you like this video, make sure you share it with your friends as well. Until then, I'll see you next Monday for another amazing workout.